as keepers it's really important because some animals, especially the ones you can't get really close to, you can't see their condition that well. For example, something that's covered in feathers or covered in a fur or a coat like the llamas, you can't always see the, the condition that they're in. So by weighing them, we know where, where we are with them and we can compare them to other weights that we take taken regularly. Obviously, them being overweight is a big thing and being in captivity, but they could be underweight if there's something wrong with them. They've got an illness we haven't noticed yet. It would be a, a clue to us. Um, also, maybe they're pregnant and we can tell if, if their weights have gone up, especially if we weigh them regularly and, and we've maybe seen a mating occur, so we want to weigh them near when a due day might be to see if, if they are pregnant that way. And we try and keep it positive so they get a little reward for coming on there, which makes it a really exciting place to be. So it's just making sure that you get them queuing up, so to speak. Um, Dirk Artortis, who is about 74, weighs 170 kilos. He's one of the heaviest animals we have at the zoo. Um, not the longest. Our longest one is Bertha. She's about 16 feet long, or 5 meters. Um, with weighing things like Bertha, our 16-foot Burmese python, we have to wrap her up in a bucket or something that we can put on the scale because she's obviously quite long and wouldn't fit on a normal set of scales. But other than that, everybody just uses a normal set of scales.